Hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Cooking and Combo with Fab 50. Tonight, we're going to have a little special uh, dish here. A little spicy, so, you know, y'all keep that in mind. But it is roasted yellow chilies, shrimp, in a Cajun creamy sauce. Creamy Cajun sauce. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the ingredients with you. I have some pepper flakes. That is totally optional. I got half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I have one tablespoon of uh, Tony's Creole seasoning. I have a tablespoon, yeah, two tablespoons of butter, two Louisiana hot links, six yellow peppers, which I will de-seed. You can leave the seeds on in if you want. And there's our seasoning, Tony's uh, Creole seasoning, Old Bay, and some Mexican crema. You can use um, heavy cream. I just like the flavor of the Mexican crema. Gives it a little more flavor. And we have a cup of chicken stock. And last, we have our shrimp. And I have about eight shrimp in here. And they're pretty big. And we're going to cut those uh, probably into three um, pieces. Okay, so okay, so I've got about two of these started. Just open those up, cut them down, get the seeds out. I left the stems on, you know, for the end presentation. You can leave them on. You can take them off. Um, this is basically an appetizer. You can sip, um, serve with some chips. So I am going to continue this um, with the peppers, uh, de-seeding that. And we will get back. Uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my Odie spaghetti, some Luther Vandross, some Al Green. And I'm going to sip on a little bit of this Cabernet, you know, just if y'all was wondering. All right, let me finish up with these peppers. Okay, so we are back. And I have cleaned and deveined the shrimp and cut those up. They turn out to be about four pieces per shrimp. Remember, they were pretty big. Um, the two sausage, I cut them in halves. And the chilies, we just want to get that little char on there. So, so we're going to let those sit in here. You know, cooking a little. You can roast them on an open fire, however you see fit. In the meantime, I'm going to get this one started. with uh, butter and let that melt and so while that is happening okay so our butter is melting and I'm going to put the seasoning in I just want to kind of open up these uh, aromas and get some of the flavors going so that was uh, Tony's and Old Bay seasoning let that go around a moment or so. Now, again, the uh, chili flakes are totally optional. And I will add those in later. And you can just smell that. Peppers are roasted. Shrimp, deveined, cut, ready to go. Louisiana sausage. And our crema, and let's bring this over closer because we are going to need this just about now. And you can smell, I wish you could smell that aroma. Okay. So before I add in the um, stock, I'm going to add the shrimp and the sausage. Well, I'm going to add the sausage first because they cook faster, slower, I'm sorry. And um, let these brown a bit and then we'll add the shrimp and the broth and all the others so I'll be right back okay so the sausage is going hold on mm -hmm. that nice sizzle I'm gonna add the shrimp that's not gonna take long and I want that to get the flavor 
and when I add the uh, broth and the cream, I'm going to remove the shrimp. I don't want them to overcook, but we're going to get that sauce going. Okay. And for all of my friends on Facebook who are watching... Okay, so I've taken the shrimp and sausage out. Um, I didn't let it cook all the way because it's going to cook some more with the uh, chilies. And I didn't put a paper towel on it there because I don't want it to absorb the, the flavor. So we're going to pour that back in there and we need all of that flavor. So back over here, we are going to add a cup of chicken broth. Okay. You can use seafood broth. If you make your own, that's even better. Okay, so we just look at all of that flavor. And as far as the cream, you're just going to add that to go. I didn't, I'm not really going to measure it because I want you to, it's going to be to flavor. Um, here's all your flavor here, but we don't want to put so much in that we lose any flavor. So I'm just going to play it by uh, that. And it looks like to be about a quarter cup of cream. And we're just going to stir this until it just smooths out. And like I said, I'm using the Mexican cream. It just has more flavor uh, to me. But you can use um, heavy cream. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and let this cook down for a while. Alright, so we got this going. I did add a little more... Um, about another teaspoon of Tony's Creole seasoning and a half a teaspoon of Spanish paprika, smoked paprika. Let's give it some more color. Let's see that. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the um, chilies in here. I want them to cook down a little bit before I add the um, shrimp and the sausage. So they can just kind of absorb some of that flavor. Okay. So I'm just going to let those cook for, I'm going to say about five minutes. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put a lid on it. Check on them in about five minutes. I want them to soften up. Then I'll add the shrimp and the sausage back to it and let it cook another five to ten minutes. Again, like I said, this is an appetizer. You can serve it with some um, plain. Okay, so that's been about five minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the shrimp and sausage and um, my chili flakes because it's just not spicy enough for me. So I'm going to put those in there just to kick it up a notch. And... See all that flavor in there? Oh, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Roasted yellow chili shrimp and a Cajun creamy sauce. All right. So... Put the lid back on there. I'm going to let that go for another five minutes because um, that's about all it needs. They're done. I just want that flavor to get in there with the shrimp and the sausage. And that's a wrap, people. I shall return with the final. Okay, here we are. Roasted yellow chilies and shrimp in a Cajun, creamy Cajun um, sauce. Uh, again, if you do not like the season um, hot, you can use something other than the Louisiana hot links. Um, Hillshire Farm Sausage or one of the other brands. I did go ahead and add the lemon. The lemon will help cut down on some of the heat and it just looks beautiful in the plate. So again, I do hope that you all will subscribe to the channel and share this video. Like this.